Hello friends, today in this video we will see response spectrum analysis in StatPro. First of all we need to know what you mean by response spectrum. So here I just uh, googled it. In Wikipedia we are getting something like a response spectrum is a plot of the peak or steady state response of a series of oscillators of varying natural frequency that are forced into motion by the same base vibration or shock. Okay, so here we can able to see the frequency based on the frequency we are getting the acceleration. So we are going to plot all those points and we are going to connect it and later we will get one curve. That curve is called as response spectrum curve. So in IS 1893 2016 code book in Indian standard we have this uh, graph. So here we can able to see natural period and also SA by G which is like a acceleration. So for time period and also against acceleration how the curve we are getting this is called response spectrum curve so consider a structure like this so this is the base of the structure okay so when earthquake happens so this structure going to change from so this position to this so we are going to get a displacement so this one we can say the displacement so this is like a normal position okay we can able to like uh, get the velocity against displacement and then we can able to get acceleration against velocity so we can say divided by time equal to velocity and then velocity divided by time equal to acceleration so we are going to frame a graph against natural frequency or time period and then we are going to take the acceleration so what we are going to get here is the so response spectrum curve so this is just i am drawing so it depends on the condition so we can able to get a graph like this or we can able to get a graph like this so it vary according to the structure and according to the earthquake so this kind of analysis why we are using in the sense so we are going to study our structure in a earthquake scenario okay so the earthquake not going to kill us but the building that we are living in will definitely kill you if it is not enough we can say if it is not constructed especially for earthquake and it is not considering the earthquake scenario then the structure will definitely collapse so we need to study the structure for earthquake and we can able to live or work in it safely so that's why we are going to undertake this kind of analysis so now we can see the response spectrum analysis in the stat pro so for that i'm going to use stat pro advanced connect edition here i will go with the new model i will name the model as response one i will choose analytical and then i will go with metric so create so here i will go for run structure wizard i will go for frame model drag and drop the bay frame so but here we have feet so we can able to change that from file so go to file and then select units select meters click ok now drag and drop it will be meter ok now i will consider like uh, same 12 12 15 12 and then 4 5 4 so we are getting like a 3 everywhere so i will continue with the same thing i will close and then match the model with the stat pro at 0 comma 0 comma 0 now i will go for support and create a support so here we can go for view and you can choose any one of this view Select the nodes in the base, assign to selected nodes. So that we can cross verify in a isometric view. Now I will go for a property. Here I am going to define a rectangular property. I will go for 0 0.4, 0 0.4 for both beams and column. And I will go for slab thickness of 0.15. So but we don't have plat. So this is like a plate thickness, so we don't have plate, so I need to draw a plate first. I will go for geometry. So select this option. So just to draw the plate using four nodes. This is like a quad plate. So I can go to select. So plate cursor. So select it. Go to geometry. Translational repeat. Here I am going to have one, two, three. 3, 4, okay. So I will go over for 4 steps, but the spacing minus 3. 
so it should be in y direction so click ok so i will go for a rectangular section i will go for assign to view i will go for slab thickness assign to view now i will go for loading so here in the definition we need to go for seismic definition since the response spectrum analysis so it is related with the seismic okay so i am just going for seismic definition add so here i am going to consider is 1893 2016 so here we can go for generate i will consider the zone and i will consider the fifth zone so then it will be like a 0.36 this is like a high seismic zone we can say and i will go for response reduction factor for ordinary moment resisting frames so it will be 3 the value and also i'm going for all other building or important building so it's up to you to decide so residential or commercial building so since we are using 2016 we also have this option so this is what i previously told you so 1.2 factor for residential or commercial building so i will continue with this option so i will go for medium soil and then with the damping ratio of 5 percentage generate so all the values it will be added here and you need to click add alone so now we can go for self weight add so we can uh, go for member weight here we need to take uniform so we need to calculate the cross section into 25 so i taken 0.4 into 0.4 into 25 kilo newton so it come to be 4 kilo newton per meter so i will consider 4 add so now for a slab, I will consider 0.15 into 25. So it's coming around 3.75. So for element, I will go for 3.75 kN per meter square add. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the member weight and we are going to assign this member weight for only X and uh, Z axis, not for Y axis. So we need to go for select. So beams parallel to X. And also without escaping i will go for z also so now we can able to click this and then assign to selected beam assign now this one we can able to go for assign to view now we can go for load case detail add i will go for seismic load seismic loading type i will put the response spectrum analysis So here I'm going to add so self weight of factor 1 in all the direction add and also I'm going for member load for uniform force of same 4 in all global x global y global is the direction. I will go for floor load also that I will consider the same 3.75 so it should be in a global y we can put the y range so 0 until 15 so total height of the building so everything we need to assign so floor load it will be automatically assigned so this one we can go for assign to view self weight So again for this uh, uniform member load we need to go for selection of x and z axis alone so now we can assign those to the selected beams So now we can click here response spectrum analysis now we can go for add now we can go for response spectra so here we can just go for code is 1893 2016 code and we have a combination methods so we can choose any one of this i will continue with the cqc and we can go for subsoil class as medium soil 
so that the time period on acceleration everything it will automatically populated so we can able to see the response spectrum curve here and i will consider the x and z direction so for one so we can click add okay now we need to go for analysis and design so define commands so you need to add the perform analysis we can go for run analysis So now we got zero error, zero warning, three nodes. So it's perfect for the structure. I will go for a, a view output file, done. So in this StatPro Connect Edition, we can able to see in the bottom, in this section, we can able to see the error list, warning list, and also the note list. We have only nodes, so it is good for our structure. So no warnings, no errors. So I will go for the result. Here we are getting agent solution, double click it we can able to see the modes and also the frequency and also the time period for the particular structure for the particular load cases for the seismic analysis so i will go for 1893 response spectrum load so here we can able to see the generalized weight of the structure and also we can able to see the dynamic weight missing weight modal weight everything we can go for peak storage here so we have five levels right so for uh, different levels we have difference peak storage here in kilo newton in x and z direction since the earthquake are going to act in x and z we are getting these values and also we can able to see the damping ratio and also the acceleration values here for uh, different modes so i will go for model based actions so this moments and shear forces we can able to see for different time periods and we can go for participation factors so here we can able to see all these values and we can able to see all the five different method of response spectrum analysis. So here the base shear it will be in kilo newton. So when we are going down we can able to see the time period 0 0.57, 165 second, SA by G value as per 1893, load factor, base shear, everything we can able to see the So everything we can able to see here in the stat output. So base here, it's coming around 271.69. So I'm just closing it. Now we can go for post processing here in the workflow. So here for the deflection, we are getting all the six mode. So this is mode one, we can go for mode two, so I just switched off the deflection, I will go for displacement and I will go for scale. So reset to default and then click OK. So I just uh, reducing the scale using control and then uh, mouse enter click. Now this is what the deflection for the structure in uh, mode 3. I will go for mode 4. mode 5 and then mode 6 so we can uh, able to study the structure for different modes all the shear forces bending moments displacements deflections everything we can able to study in post processing and we can also go for dynamics so here we are getting the frequencies and mass participations So if you want to see the animation, we can click animation here. I will go for a section displacement and then click OK. So now we can able to see the animation of the structure under the earthquake analysis. Or we can say response spectrum analysis. So this is the end of this video.